It's not often that I get a new guitar. And I certainly have never gotten a guitar in this era of unboxing. So I decided that I'd make a little video of this one since this one is quite significant in that I have made a decision to go away from a wooden acoustic guitar. It's something I never thought I would do because the tone of wood is uh, just beautiful. And going away from wood is uh, typically means it's very difficult to replicate uh, a nice warm tone. So I've been doing tons and tons of research and have come across a guitar brand that actually I dreamed about years ago uh, because their wooden guitars are just amazing. Uh, but I think they're somewhere around seven to ten thousand uh, dollars depending on what you get. Um, obviously I'm not gonna do that. But uh, they decided to make a carbon fiber one. I think because they wanted to hit a certain uh, price point to get their guitars into people's hands, but I could be wrong. And uh, it serves kind of a different purpose. Uh, it's kind of nice uh, to have carbon uh, because wood um, does not like the winter. A uh, number of years ago, I want to say maybe it was 2014, that winter was uh, very, very, very cold. And so my first really nice acoustic, my Larvae, uh, developed a crack in it sitting in my office because it just got too cold and wasn't humidified. So I had to have the crack repaired. Uh, this past winter, uh, for weeks, I had my guitars sitting in a warmer space in the church because I didn't want them sitting in my office so that they would not develop another crack and lose value. So I decided, for a number of reasons, partly because I didn't like the pick up on my Martin GPC PA-1, uh, we just didn't get along, that I was going to consider going away from wood and going with a uh, carbon fiber guitar. So McPherson is actually located up in Sparta, Wisconsin, so I think they're just about a couple hours from here. and. Uh, I had no idea they were that close, actually, um, until recently. Uh, this is a nice, beautiful, soft case. Uh, I really struggled because one of the guitars I wanted, uh, well, most of the guitars always come with a hard shell case. Uh, this is the only one I found that came with a soft case. Uh, the reason I got this one is because it has some things that I wanted specifically in my guitar. Uh, I didn't... Uh, want to make the case the most important factor so I went with uh, the guitar that had the features that I wanted and I'll talk about those in a second so but I figured well it can't be that breakable because it's carbon fiber I think supposedly you can like stand on these things um, I'm certainly never going to do that uh, but and I don't travel with it uh, if I was gonna fly with it uh, which I'm not sure I would because airlines uh, sometimes are not very nice to guitars. Uh, if I was going to travel with it, uh, I, would, I would buy a uh, hard shell case, only $100 for the nice uh, McPherson hard shell case. So um, I got this one, got this nice case. And so here we go. This guitar that I went with, there are three finishes. There is a standard carbon weave, 
There is a basket weave, which I thought I wanted. And then there is a honeycomb finish. Uh, after talking with Louvianne, well, I had already decided I didn't want the standard carbon finish. Uh, after talking with Louvianne, she decided the basket weave looked too busy. And so we went with the honeycomb. And so we have the honeycomb weave. Oh, wow. That is beautiful. I don't know if you'll even be able to see the honeycomb weave, um, but it looks like a honeycomb. Um, that's just something else. It's kind of crazy. So uh, I should have added, the guitar just got to me. In the guitar world, when an instrument gets to you, especially during any sort of winter type months, you do not open it the same day. Uh, you wait 24 hours to do so because that is a good way to completely ruin your guitar's finish and get all sorts of cracks in the uh, finish of your acoustic guitar. So uh, carbon fiber though does not act like wood does. So that means uh, I can do whatever I want with it. Uh, I saw a video where apparently McPherson had gone outside at one point and it was like negative 40 outside because they're in Sparta, Wisconsin, and it was negative 40 outside. They took the guitar outside, which you never want to do with a uh, regular uh, wood uh, guitar. And then they brought it inside to about uh, 70 degrees, of course, just normal indoor temperature. And the tuning was not impacted at all, which is completely shocking because normally um, that would do quite a job on your tuning, taking it from negative 40 to 70 degrees in just seconds. So uh, carbon fiber doesn't have those problems though. Uh, bought this guitar because uh, this one has the honeycomb like I said. Uh, it has stronger frets. I tend to use heavier strings and wanted some stronger frets. Nickel is just a little softer than I wanted. Uh, these frets are called EVO Gold. Um, sounds like it's some sort of proprietary fret maybe or something that they made. These frets are nice, very nice. They look beautiful. Um, but some of my strings can uh, create a good bit of fret wear uh, up here in the third frets especially. And then uh, this guitar uh, specifically has these beautiful satin tuners. Oh, they feel super soft. It's gorgeous. Um, so that was that between Elsa's Falling. Um, so what I was looking for was the honeycomb finish, the upgraded frets so that they would last longer, and the satin pearl tuners. And this here is a feedback, um, feedback fighter. Uh, like if you're in a place where the setting is prone to feedback, then you throw that in there and that helps uh, cut back on some of the uh, feedback. So uh, the other thing about McPherson, you can see the sound hole is not where it's supposed to be. A sound hole on a guitar is traditionally right here in the middle. Uh, McPherson has carved this nice little niche for themselves with this offset uh, sound hole. Uh, it's really, really unique. Um, nobody else is doing this. Others have tried different things, uh, but uh, this is a McPherson thing. Um, I'll say the guitar is actually heavier than I thought. I think it's because of the, the back, um, because obviously carbon fiber shouldn't weigh much. But uh, this is just beautiful. Now I can't wait to play it. And I don't have a pick on me. Oh, they included another saddle. 
so I'm not sure if I need this saddle or not. We'll see how see how the action is after uh, I do some playing on it. That is decently low, so we'll see. Might need to might need to swap that out. I'm not sure what it takes. If all I have to do is take the strings off and pop in a new saddle, usually that means a tune-up uh, with the truss rod. A truss rod is usually right in here. Uh, it goes down into the body and you make very small adjustments on it and it scares the crap out of you. Uh, but this is a carbon fiber guitar. Carbon fiber doesn't move, so there are no adjustments to be made on it. Uh, no truss rod uh, to speak of. So another weird uh, thing about it. So I'm just gonna grab a pick real quick. some crazy reason I can't find one which is shocking since they are everywhere this is a beautiful blue case by the way I love this inside very very nice definitely not your average soft case that is for sure how that tuna works. The neck feels really interesting. I'm really kind of surprised by the neck. Uh, I thought it would feel more plastic, uh, but it feels... I guess I shouldn't say plastic because on a guitar of this caliber, uh, it definitely wouldn't be plastic. But it really feels smooth. It's kind of kind of crazy how the neck feels. Um, I really like the uh, fretboard. It has this cantilever uh, here in the middle. Uh, so there's this space under the fretboard from here to here. Um, so it's cantilever, kind of cool. Little engineering idea thing going on. watched a review um, these guys Brian Wall and his little outfit worship tutorials and he was comparing this guitar to uh, Martin CE07 uh, which is a guitar that I was contemplating buying uh, but part of the problem being that it's wood and they were just talking about the warmth of this and how much it sounds like wood uh, it's really quite crazy. Like, to hear it in person is really a shock. Just the lows sound great. The low end really projects well. And these aren't even strings that I like, I would say. I think they have, they have elixir uh, coated strings on these, which I tend to not like. They feel a little more dead uh, than what uh, the typical string that I use um, does. So, oh, that low end is beautiful.
Somebody said this guitar just comes mix ready, and uh, you can kind of hear that. It's not super, super warm like maybe a mahogany body might be, but uh, it is definitely does not sound like carbon or anything like that, uh, considering there is no wood anywhere on this. Um, I don't think, I don't think, no, I'm not sure what the saddle is. Maybe tusk or maybe carbon, who knows? Um, but, Another reason I, that contributing factor I should say for this guitar is that I did not like the pickup in my Martin, uh, GPC PA1. Uh, we were just arguing a lot. So uh, I've been wanting to switch to an LR Bags pickup, uh, have an LR Bags pickup in my Larvae. LR bags is just, they're the top in pickups in the acoustic world. So, um, McPherson uh, partnered uh, with, uh, maybe partnered isn't the right word, uh, McPherson uh, chose to utilize LR bags element pickup um, exclusively for these. So, it comes installed with the LR bags uh, element right here, so my volume is just right here. I just can turn it up or down right there. Uh, all the preamp and everything is all inside, so there's no holes in the body uh, up here like normal. Um, granted, it doesn't have a tuner, so I gotta, might have to buy me a Boss tuner uh, pedal, um, but the, the nine volt battery goes right here. I don't even know if there's a nine volt in it. it feels like there's a nine volt in it already. So that's nice. Um, it is nice, this offset with the others, uh, you had to, in order to access the preamp inside, you had to loosen the strings a lot and then try to fit your hand in between the strings to get into the hole. But with this offset hole, it's nice and easy to access that uh, nine volt battery and all the preamp stuff is built inside and uh, I think tuned uh, for this guitar. So that's it. That's my beautiful McPherson Sable carbon fiber guitar. And I'm sure Sunday people will be watching online and live and wondering what in the world that is that I'm playing. So you saw it here first. That's what I'm playing, a carbon fiber guitar that sounds just amazing.